Hi, and welcome to Art Today. I'm Rachel Neese, and today we are going to do a super fun, easy activity. It's super messy, so make sure you get something to cover your space, maybe go outside, wear old clothes, or get something to cover yourself up. So to give you an example of what we are doing, um, a few weeks ago, my amazing friend, Bina, had a ladies' night and introduced me to this, and it was so easy. All the women, moms, grandmas, everybody that was there was able to make these, whether they were super artsy or not. So we just got some plain little boards from, I believe probably from either Michael's or the dollar store, and poured some paint. It was really fun. Um, this was the original one I did, and then one of the other women made one that kind of looked like ocean, and I was inspired. We had an extra board, so I kind of did this ocean one. I think we'll eventually end up with, like maybe writing a little bit on with acrylic paint, and that way like this becomes a really nice work of art. So these are the finished products, but you need to know what to get. So you can get all these supplies at any of your art stores. I happen this time around, Michael's was the place that had the um, best prices currently, you know, they all have sales. So Michael's carries a couple different, I think like three different brands for ready, pour, ready to pour acrylic paints. Sometimes they'll come in these little kits where they already have the colors together. You can also get them separately and choose your own colors and this just happens to be the deco art fluid art ready to pour acrylics but these are not the only ones out there these are just the ones where i like the colors and the price was right for us so you need your paint once you have your paint you need something to help you pour there's all kinds of things that you can buy at the store that are silicone cups there's these little like great looking things that look like they should probably go in your sink. Um, all kinds of options. I already had this guy running around the ceramic studio, so we are going to use him today so you can see through him. And then the most important thing, you need something to pour your paint on. So I have several things today. We have wood, we have some foam, and then we also have some canvas. It happens to be fall around here, the beginning of October when we're filming this so we've got some spooky things but they're not going to look too spooky but it can be any holiday if you're wanting to do stuff for christmas get christmas colors and get some christmas decor it could be spring anything that you want um, once you have stuff to pour on you're going to need something underneath to protect your surface luckily i have a bunch of these trays in the classroom um, when we did this at my friend's place we used a bunch of trash cans we put them under the table because things did fall off um, and then we used trash bags on the table as well so the first thing that i'm going to pour paint on is going to be this canvas so it's a little ghost but it's a canvas Michael's always has great things for different holidays in the shape and they're normally canvas and wood and you can get them at a very good deal and then upgrade them and have some really cool personal decor. And before I forget, when you get to the end, once everything's dry and set, you are going to want a clear pouring top coat so you can find this the same place where you can find your paint pouring i don't think it matters if you mix brands acrylic paint and acrylic um, varnish of some sort are probably going to work well together the only big thing is you don't want to use these to put food on if you wanted to do food you're going to probably do this process with some type of resin which is beyond my skill set currently maybe in the future and then if you want anything fun to move paint around or to dry paint if you're really impatient would be a hair dryer or a heat gun um, the hair dryer is how i got the cool effects on the little ocean over there so the first guy we are going to do is the little ghost and i do have something under him so just like i think this is like a rice thing like from costco where you get rice and cook it in the microwave it's just going right under my ghost to kind of keep them off my surface because like I said this is going to get messy and we are going to pour everywhere so first thing you do pick your first color 
give it a good shake. You want to really make sure every time you're using these to shake them. Um, pro tip, and let's see if my ceramic students listen the next time we're glazing, put your finger on top of the cap when you are shaking because you might not have put the cap on right and you are going to spray paint that is not easily washable. This stuff is more permanent than a lot of other acrylic paints out there. If it gets on you, it's gonna be on you. Um, so if you do get it on the wall or something, get it up quickly. So let's see, use rose gold, some pink. So we're just shaking up. And as you can tell, these are different colors, but I'm putting them all in the cup together. Most of the time, if you were to do this with regular paint, it would probably mix together and make some kind of brown. These are specially formulated not to mix that way, which is really cool. Um, I think that there is also a medium that you can get that you can add to your existing acrylic paints to make it liquefy and kind of do this process. All right, I think I'm gonna add in just a tad bit of black to make this different than the one I did earlier and really show you. So I've got two pinks, a white, and a little black in there. All right, so you can kind of see. And what I'm doing now is I am just going to kind of pour it all over my little canvas here. And then we are gonna start rocking and rolling and a lot more is going to happen. And sometimes you might have to stand here and kind of hold it up and let the paint pour. Um, if you have any kind of like, like popsicle sticks or something like that, you could probably go in there and pour more out. You could use a smaller container, but this is not the end of it. So I've got it out and now if you don't like getting dirty, if you don't like stuff on your hands, you don't like having paint on your hands for a couple days, wear gloves with this. Um, but we know I like a little chaos. So the next step is to pick it up and just start moving. Some of it's going to fall down. That is why we covered our space. So... And it's really kind of fun to just sit and watch. It's almost memor memorizing, mesmerizing. There we go. There's the word. It will come to you if you think hard enough. And we are just flowing. So you can just see it flowing all around. We're dripping everywhere. That is, again, why you protect your surface. Um, I think this is good for all ages. Just if you are using this with younger kids, if I were to do this with my four, almost five-year-old niece, um, we would probably put her in some kind of rain poncho or um, literally cut a hole in the top of a trash bag and put it on top of her because she is going to put this everywhere. All right, so I'm gonna keep tilting this guy until he is coated. So when we come back, you will be able to see what it looks like done. Um, we still have to wait for it to dry, but we are gonna do a couple different types of paint pouring in just a bit. So go enjoy our commercials and we will see you in just a bit. As a student in the Mobile County Public Schools, there are a few things I've come to expect. One is a quality education and the other is a quality lunch. Not only are our school meals well balanced, meeting all federal nutritional standards, but they also have less fat, fewer calories, and they taste really good. Oh, and I forgot to mention, our school lunches contain whole wheat, grains, fruits, and vegetables to give me the energy and brain power to get me through the day. I'm Ashley Rich, District Attorney. Today I want to talk to you about a program that we at the District Attorney's Office has with the Mobile County Public School Systems to help with the bullying issues that are going on in today's world because of social media and because our young people think it's okay to bully others. It's not okay to bully others. Bullying is repeated verbal and physical abuse, ongoing verbal and physical abuse. We at the Mobile County District Attorney's Office want to help the community, we want to help the public school system, and we want to stop bullying within our community. It's really, really important that we do so. And parents need to be responsible if their child is either being bullied or if their child is a bully. 
parents need to be involved to stop the bullying or to help the child if they are being bullied. And we at the Mobile County District Attorney's Office and the Mobile County Public School System are also here to help. Hey, and welcome back to Art Today. I am Rachel Neese, and today we are paint pouring, but on other days we do some other pretty cool art. So please check out the youtube.com at MCPSS TV and check out what we are doing down here in Mobile, Alabama, having a bunch of fun. Um, it's not super cool outside, but it is finally fall. We had our first cooler night last night. So the pumpkin inspired me to bring it out. Um, I don't think most of you have one of these running around at home unless you were a baker, but they are super nice. So the last little ghost we did, we poured everything on the canvas flat and then tipped it around and gave it some marbling. But this time we are going to see what happens when we kind of pour a few things at the same time on a 3D um, sculpture. Esque. So we're gonna, I don't know. Ah. We are just gonna do a couple of different things and see what happens. So sometimes art is messy. I think kids will really like this. Um, teenagers, younger kids. And if I kind of tap and twirl, we might get some cool effects going on. And if you mess up the first time around, it is not a big deal to let this kind of dry and harden and redo this if you don't like what you get. But it is, I think just about everything you get will be fine. Um, don't try to be perfect. This is not a perfect art project. So let's see, we got some stuff going on. We're gonna Add some more up here around the top. There we go, we got some flow going now. So the more paint you've got, the more flow you have. You can see it kind of coming down. I'm gonna to try to help it a little bit and do some tipping. And again, it is gonna get your surface messy. Oop. I wish you guys would have saw that. I had a little air bubble over here just pop. We're starting to lose some of the teal. I'm gonna to try to do some more. See what happens. So as you can see, like every time you do this, you're going to get a different effect, different colors, whatever you are painting, it's all going to be a little different. But I think this is just something you could have fun with, with just about anyone, like a group of friends, kids home for the summer, or on vacation. Um, and I really do think any age group would be good. The big thing is just remembering nothing is going to be perfect with this one. You cannot be a perfectionist. You just kind of have to let the process happen. So with this paint and gravity, I think it will keep flowing as it goes. So we are going to set that aside and we are going to try another little trick with the hair dryer. So we will see how that works. So I'm just gonna pull this little ghost here. Um, he does stand up on his own, um, so I could pour paint that way if I wanted to, but I am just going to flatten him and kind of do a little bit of a swirl and then get the, the little um, hair dryer that I just got from Walgreens. I think they had them on sale. So we'll pour in here. And again, it is okay if you are mixing different colors using the same cup. It gives you a little bit more. It is completely up to you how you want to combine your colors. So let's see, I'm just kind of putting, we're gonna do a little bit of everything this time around. So I'm using all my colors 
and we will see what happens. Um, I kind of think like if you use three to four colors, that's kind of like the extent of what you need. Otherwise it might be a little too busy. But again, this is your art and you can completely go Jackson Pollock, who was a really cool artist. So let's see, I had pink and purple in here, but because I think I did put, I put pink in there at some point, but that is not what is happening. Okay, so this might be a little messy. Um, we're gonna move some things around. I did, the first time I did this, I did find that I sprayed it onto my other art because I was not watching where the hair dryer was going. Um, so make sure you watch which direction. So if it's going this way, my paint is probably going to go that way. So I'm gonna put this on low for a second and we're going to watch where the paint might go. There we go. There you go. Let's try high. Ooh. All right, so we got some good mix there. I did not get to all the corners, so I'm going to try a little bit more. And I really like that one deep blue and I think it kind of got lost in there. So we're gonna do a little bit more of that. And you can kind of start seeing some of that rose gold that might've been stuck in there. Do a little teal and let's find out what happens. And I'm gonna put a little bit more out where I need it. And then we are going to blow dry and see what happens again. I'm trying to remember to shoot it away from myself. that turned out a lot cooler than I thought it would. So it just kind of depends. Um, also, if you've got kids and you get a straw, they can do that whole process with a straw and blowing the paint which way. Um, if I were to do that with anyone under the age of um, 50, I would probably put them outside. Otherwise, it is going to end up everywhere. Um, how I didn't get more paint on this table, I don't know, but we made it. So we are going to let this guy set up and cure for a little bit. And when we get back, I'm going to show you a couple more things. And then we are going to look at how to actually seal our work. I did one earlier today for an example. So go check out some sites. See if you can find some paint pouring things because I know you're wanting to do this. Um, but sit tight. We've got a few more things to show you and we will be right back. High school students, are you looking for a way to become a better leader? Then the Junior Officers Training Corps may be what you're seeking. If you would like to develop self-reliance, learn ways to be more responsible, and improve your communication skills, you can do that and more when you register for the Junior Officers Training Corps. The JROTC program is available to all high school students in Mobile County. JROTC, we build a better you. Hi, I'm Renee Phillips, Director of Communication for Mobile County Public Schools and your host of Homeroom. I invite you to join us as we learn about the great things happening in our schools across the county. On Homeroom, you get to meet students and educators who are in our schools every day doing wonderful things. Join us as we take an in-depth look at their stories, issues, people, and policies of the Mobile County Public Schools. That's Homeroom. You can find it weekly right here on the MCPSS TV network. Thank you. 